Well, Ian. Well, Josh. Here we are sitting in a bathtub. Here we are. Like you do. Totally. Couple of. Totally comfy. Couple of pals just hanging out in a bathtub. Josh. Mm hmm. I want to ask you a personal question. <laughs> what? When you die, what would you want your obituary to say about you? I would hope that it would. <laughs> I would hope that it more than anything it would just say, to, you know, some, something as simple as I don't know, a decent person. <laughs> Josh Cook. I don't know. A decent person. I just wouldn't. I hope that it wouldn't be like Josh Cook, a real bastard. That. <laughs> that would. Not, I would not like that. That's what I wouldn't like it to say. What do you want your obituary to say? I have lots of nieces and nephews, and I think a lot about how they're going to remember me. And I would like to be this really cool aunt that was really <laughs> generous and kind and that they could relate to and really cool. Um, so I hope that it reflects that I had, I played a role in their life and I was involved and supportive with all of the things that they want to do. And, but I don't think that they're going to think of me as cool because I often ask them <laughs> if they think I'm cool. And if you're cool, you don't have to say, so like, am I cool? No. So I'm not to... cool in their eyes. But, but I'd like to be remembered as a warm, caring, decent person. Yeah. I think you just generally, like most people, want to be, want to be liked and remembered well. But you know, yeah, and it's a good question. To I say. would like my obituary to say, Josh Cook, he sure did cure that cancer. <laughs> and have it be true. That'd be pretty great. I'm not a doctor though, so it's probably unlikely I'll do it. Maybe I should be a doctor. I don't it's not too life. late. Yeah. Here I am sitting in a bathtub instead. <laughs>